Hello, how's it going? Some time ago now, um, I did a video with a company called TurfNet. And what I did was I substituted on this Jacobson reel these square headed adjustment bolts that are top and bottom that adjust the bed knife. And I subbed them out with these 12 point, uh, I forget what they call them, counter bores, I think. The company I got them from calls them counter bore nuts. I don't know. They kind of look like a header bolt with three eighths, with, uh, but they have 12 points on them. And the purpose was that you could use your um, box end wrench versus your open end wrench and catch the, the fastener in so many places. And instead of being bound to just certain directions with the open end wrench, you know how they, they work. So anyway, but this, you still have to work the distance between the top and bottom on the bed knife between, this is what it would be like inside the, the reel if it was in there. And, you know, if it's got to go tighter, you loosen this bottom one and you tighten this top, top one. And you have to get that pretty tight to keep this adjustment. And it's, it's, it's kind of like a learned uh, art to get that even side to side, not pinch the reel too tight. So I'm looking for now a better way than that. And they do sell an upgrade kit. It's quite expensive. Uh, this machine would have five reels on it and it would be quite expensive nearing a thousand if not to put these modified adjusters on it that are real easy to use um, like our Toro machine so um, I'm going to stop right here for a second and talk about the, the easy um, quick adjusters on the Toro which you know Jacobson also has now it's just that we have newer Toros for the green so let's take a look and see how they work Okay, so here's the greens mower with a quick adjustment that we have that I really like to adjust it because it's very quick. So how it works is down here, right there, that is the bolt that the bed knife pivots on. So the bed knife comes up, which is this red area here, and it comes up here, and this is the quick adjustment unit right here. And basically, when you're turning the adjuster, it's going to take this and either go forward or backwards and swing it on that pivot point. And over here is where you do your adjustment. So it's just a click wheel. You just click it one way or the other. And it has a little uh, pin right here or like a little tab that catches these teeth. And so it doesn't want to turn at any other given time so you know based on whether you want to go tighter or looser that's going to pivot that bed knife closer or further away from or the, I should say pivot the bed knife to the real clearance so you'll have that cut that you want of course the system I'm making isn't going to be as elaborate as this but it's going to be a hell of a lot cheaper and uh, it's going to simplify on the spot adjustments like this machine here I'll adjust this providing it doesn't need a resharpen in, in in 10 minutes all three reels okay so being that that is how they work and you saw how much easier it is to just turn that star wheel and but I found a Another way on this I could do, um, a modification that is, to make it easier. Not as easy, but it's not going to cost me a bundle. It's going to be very cheap. I'm going to use uh, this 3-8 bolt. Okay? It's, I think, about 5 inches long. And I've got a tap on it. Because the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grind off about the first inch of threads. So it's just, it's going to be a little bit smaller in diameter, but the, you know, I'm just going to take the threads away. And what that's going to do is that's going to pass down through the top, okay? We're going to drill a hole through this bar, and it's going to go in through the top, where the top bolt used to be, okay? So that's the first thing I'm going to do, and what the, the, um, the uh, I guess it's a call a die, not a tap. I got it on there because after I grind it down, sometimes you're going to, rough up the threads so now I'll back it off and I'll clean up the threads as I go. I'm going to use um, a 3 8 
coarse locking nut, valve springs from a Chevy engine, okay, and some retainers, one on each end. Now what I did on these is, uh, let me get a different spring. Here's the, uh, the original spring height, a little too tall, so what I did is I took a cutoff wheel with a very thin cutoff wheel on it, and I, right where the, the end of the spring comes around, I just cut the first loop straight down, then I cut the second loop off. So that cuts off two loops, and then it makes it about this high. That should be just right for the project. Okay? Then what I'm going to do now is, I, because I do need this hole um, to position this top bolt, and what this is going to do is, this is going to be under tension from this spring, and it's going to push down on the bed knife, so I, don't, I no longer have to worry about a, a top adjuster, just the bottom. So what that's going to do is, this, this top bolt is going to push down like crazy, because they, these things are damn powerful. And it's going to push down like crazy on that bed knife. And all I'll have to do is figure out whether I need it tighter or looser by, by adjusting the bottom one. So right away it's going to be full tight. The, the, the bed knife is going to be jammed up against the reel under spring pressure. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to back that off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten in these bottom bolts and it's going to compress back the other way so that it's going to make the bed knife bring come back away from the reel okay now I wanted this also to be reversible so I don't damage anything permanently um, let's just say for some reason we need to go back to the way it used to be it's going to be fine nothing has changed okay so we're going to use the springs, the retainers, the bolts and um, like I said, this is going to chase the thread after I grind it. And uh, this is one I've already ground. I won't waste time going to the grinder. You know, I'll know how to I put it on the grinding wheel. Don't forget your safety gear. I put it on the grinding wheel, I turn it, and I take down the, the threads until I get it smooth. It probably ends up around, I don't know, a little more than 5 16 Now, the next thing I want to do is I want this hole to be even and lined up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so here's how we're going to do this next thing with the holes in drilling. So I want to drill in that cross brace that goes right across the top. And I want it to be exactly the same angle as the old bolts that adjust the bed knife. And uh, I also don't want, like I said, I want this reversible. So there's, there's what we have to take out, okay? And on the other side, we're already out. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to use those two bolt holes to get the alignment properly. I'm going to go up through the bottom hole, through the top hole, and into that cross brace and drill the holes that way with an extra long drill bit. Now I'm using a 5 16 drill bit because um, I want it to pass through without taking the threads out in case I want to reverse this later. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to go through the bottom hole, up to the top hole, and we're going to start drilling. Okay, I'm going to use the cobalt drill bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the top and drill the hole now with a 3 8 drill bit. Actually, maybe uh, one size above three eighths, so it passes right through. Okay, so down through the top now. Now we have our hole, and you see our bolt passes right through at the same angle. So now we're just going to put it all together. Okay, now let's put this together. We've got our holes drilled, and uh, like I said, they line right up. Takes the guesswork out of that. I did lie, I had to take one more coil off the uh, valve spring. Just uh, it was too tall to fit in there. 
with uh, everything in the nut and all that. So we'll start with passing our bolt down. We're going to get our 3 8 locking nut in there somehow. Find its way in there. Now our bed knife is in there already, so what I'm going to do is I need to get it away a little bit so I can work. Put it in the I gotta find, I gotta get that nut started on there somehow. So I might have to do a little finagling here. Okay, got it going. So that's what we're looking at. Now that's I'm gonna tighten it up more and more. Okay. If I can get the wrench on it. And that's gonna tension that spring up. I'm trying to do it so it can be seen in the camera. Tension that spring up, you can see it collapsing. That's on a lot of pressure right there. So now all I got to do is, is match it to the other side and then we'll adjust it up. Okay, both sides are in. And uh, you might have noticed my screw up if you're paying attention enough. Um, I didn't drill the other side, the hole. I just did a demonstration hole with a long bit. And then I put the bed knife in. Well, with the bed knife in, you can't drill up through the two holes. So, drill both your holes before you put your bed knife in. The other thing I did was, uh, I didn't like the length of this bolt originally. After I got it, I stood up about here. And then there's an apparatus that, it's a frame that goes on it that hooks onto the machine. I don't know if it's going to interfere with that. I don't want it that close. So, I shortened the bolts by an inch, so they might be somewhere around four and a half inches. I should have uh, measured it first, so um, this would be the original bolt. One I haven't cut yet, so uh, I'll tell you what the measurement on that was. Uh, it's about five and a half inches, so I probably took it's probably about four and a half inches now. So hopefully it's not too short, but as you can see, it's springs are loaded right now. And uh, like I said, those are off a small block Chevy right there. So, and they've been bouncing valves open and shut, and uh, you know, under tremendous pressure for you know, who knows how long. And uh, I just had them in my collection at home. So um, now we're under spring pressure on the on the bed knife. And just to show you, the reel is jammed tight. You can't turn it. Okay, so it's going to start out super tight and uh, what I want to do at this point is suspend it so it's not laying on itself I'm going to use these two holders to keep the reel up and the bed knife up now what we want to do next is I'm going to check my camera angle here is we're going to put our bottom bolts in that have our locking nut on it. It's not a locking nut, but it's, it's going to lock the bolt in place. It's uh, just going to hold it in place when it's when it's uh, when we get to our setting we want. So it's going to be like a um, I forget what the proper word would be for it, but all it's going to do is you know lock that bolt from turning. So I'm going to start running those in. So I feel make contact. Okay, that one's made contact. Now this one, and what this is doing, like I said, this whole point of this is it's a single point adjustment system. Not, you know, it's easy as the what you saw in the Toro, 
but it, you won't have to mess around with top and bottom, just, just one end. So I'm going to put it, start loading it away. I'm just starting to turn the, the reel. And there it goes. The reel is now turning. So now, what I could do is, I'm going to turn off that fan so we can hear it. Okay, because listening to this is part of the game. And I'm going to start back in the other way, tightening up again. There it is, that's that noise I want to hear. That swooshing sound is what I want to hear. Okay, I kind of like that right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock them down and see what I got. down there. Let's take a look at it. Okay, let's do a paper test on it. So, again the paper test. A little, little too loose on this side. That side's good. So I'm going to mess with just this side a little bit. I mean, the idea is to make as little contact as you can and still get a cut. So, That's it. So we got our one point per side adjustment, and uh, now we're going to fire this onto a machine, and we're going to check it out. Okay, so here comes our operator, Ernie, and you can see the grass flying right out of it. The center front reel is the one has the modified adjuster on it so looks like it's cutting well looks like it's doing at least as well as the other two if not better and when it gets done it's got a lot of fairways to do I'll be able to sharpen it on the fly and see how easy it is so I just got this mower back in and um, this one I did the single point adjustment system that I just showed you and um, you just saw the cutting um, you know out in the fairway and it's back it's been washed up and things and I just want to you know you lose that friction point There's a little bit left but I just want to cinch it up a little bit see how easy it is with our new system so I'm going to loosen our uh, jam nuts so we can make our adjustments first okay. Okay, I always tell you to start with your leading edge which is this side so we're gonna go 
In order to let the let it tighten itself some more, we're going to loosen it a hair. I already hear it catching a little too much. Okay. And the other side. That's that's so much easier. So much easier. I'm in love with this idea. So now I'm just going to hold the, uh, the 12 point and tighten my jam nut. And you can see I'm just reaching right behind the machine and doing all this. And middle reels are obviously the worst. And then probably the, the rears. So I'm just holding, kind of working my feel here instead of, you know, to see. Okay. Tighten the jam nut. And we're good to go. <clears throat> good to go for another mo. All right. This project's complete, and I appreciate you watching. Let me have your comments.